intensity, but you keep doing that same movement, just like what you're just doing. Don't try too hard. That's it. That's it. Just let your arm rest. Let your arm rest. That's already hurting me a lot more. Just stay upright. Think of staying upright. There you go. Okay. Let's think of staying upright. Think of staying upright if I do this again. Upright. There you go. There you go. I'm moving now, not you. Okay. Crazy. I know. <laughs> Stay kind of opened up like this. He feels my pressure. Release the legs too. Release the legs, lengthen the spine. And already as he releases the legs, I'm starting to feel the drag. And now feel your expansive circle drawing in like you, you're almost like you're suctioning me in. And that pulls my whole body in. Now pull from your shoulder. Okay, pull from your shoulder. It jolts my shoulder and my arm. Now, Suction in slowly, release everything and suction in. Okay. You do uh, Paxo, you do Gatso, whatever block you're applying. I want your idea in your mind to be expansive as you block like that. Okay, do it again. Expand out. Okay, expand out. Okay, expand towards me. Okay, just like that. Expand out towards me. everywhere. As you're moving, Another thing is I'm gonna go a little bit stronger with my structure. As you're moving, if I punch with a heavy set kind of a punch, if your legs are not released, you will bounce back. Even with that. Release and hit. Okay? Release and hit. Okay? Release and hit. Okay? Your hips. Okay? So right now what I'm seeing Tom do is go like this. Okay? So go from from this point, don't draw the elbow. Just let it go forward from the point where it is. More like that. Just straight forward, boom, expand. Okay, I can switch. Because switch goes. If you're anticipating, you will be tense. So release, so you don't anticipate. So you know when the person is moving towards you, you can correctly time that movement as you go down to gunso. Just like that. When you do gunso, same idea. You release. In your mind, you expand out, your legs release down, just like that. Let your arm, relax that shoulder and let your arm drop in your arm, okay, on the side. So you think, these are a little bit of a chop, so you're going in like this and doing the chop. So what would it look like if you let your arm go? Let it, just like that, let it, just like that, let it, let it. I'm going to start punching a light and enough at intensity, but you keep doing that same movement, just like what you're just doing. Don't try too hard. That's it. That's it. Just let your arm rest. Let your arm rest. That's already hurting me a lot yeah, more. Yeah. So as the punch comes forward, I don't focus on the arm as a problem for that punch. Is it a problem? Sure it is. But I'm going to focus on my solution, which is putting an object across that that part where where um, it, it's going to basically compromise his, his uh, power. So as he goes slowly, slowly through, and I'm putting object onto that center right there, that compromises this. So I'm thinking, I, I put my hand here, and or here, depends on where the punch comes in. If it's coming to my head, I put my hand right here. I put it there, I don't force it there. So if you go straight punch to my head, I put it there. My hand goes here, in this space. I bypass this. I will hit it as I go. Okay, just like that. And the weight of the strike becomes a lot more because you're going past this point. If you block with focusing on here, we'll get punched. 
that's that's how that feels okay it's a difference even if i smack a little bit more like that uh, after many of these rules but if i go through it it's you feel different right yeah it's like there's more no weight here. yeah so it's like more of your body's weight hits the arm and it's not because i'm focusing on destroying his arm it's because i'm focusing on going past the point of where he is i'm going here or here not here okay make sense let's try it out right and as the punch comes in you're going to draw it in so first one we expand it out second one we contract in okay so go slowly one of your hands is going to be out that's the hand that's going to come in if go slowly again if this hand is out Punch that same stuff, 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 and that's the hand that's going to bring it in. Okay, we've done it in the class before. So one of your hand is out forward, and you punch it whichever side, and you pull it, pull it in. You don't force the arm down. Again, this is not the problem to focus on. It's you're drawing the power back in. As you draw the power back in, you turn with that power draw. Punch forward. I'm doing that. Okay, I'm not going. To, towards myself if he, if he punches and I'm drawing it to myself I don't want to do that either so I want to as he punches I draw it away from me which then followed by a strike or whatever else okay so you go uh, one punch and that comes back punch okay so we have jutso with the faxo jutso with the faxo that my no, let's yeah, say yeah. this hand is forward He's punching. Yeah, I draw it in, I hit it. Okay? If he punches again, I'm gonna use that same hand, come back with that same hand. If it's forward, I'm keeping it forward, then I'm gonna use the same hand again. If I choose to bring it in and and hit and I bring it back in, I switch my hands, punch, then I do it with this hand. Okay? So whichever hand is forward. So don't go, you hit here and then bring this one forward and then bring it back. There's too much time waste. Okay, use the hand that's forward to do the jump. Okay, if you stay on one side a few times, that's okay. Okay, and you switch the other side. You didn't get to see, so, so I feel like she's showing you. Like, okay. If I just followed, I'd be like, I'm okay. on brother. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. so I go slowly. <laughs> During that, do it to me. Yeah, that's the pressure of your arm. No, I can I resist that. No, so if you that. if you're pressing down on my arm, I can resist that. I can that's block cool. that. If I go slowly again, then you put your hand forward. So I go slowly. I come through your center. You release your shoulder, release your arm, and then just turn your core. Don't press. Okay? That's you're pressing your arm. You just turn your core. Yeah, turn your core. And when I do that, when I react that way, you return the hand back up. Bring it in, like that. Bring it in, So I can do that with tension. If he responds with tension, we're gonna rely on technique. Tension to tension, response, you have to, whoever has better technique is gonna win. But if I release and he punches, I'm dragging his whole body, and then I can rely on my feeling versus my technique. So, yeah, right? And in the training, I'm gonna have you guys not hit the neck, and I have you guys hit the shoulder and or chest, okay? So it's a, I'm separating, my, my hands are separated, my hand is forward, he punches with one hand or the other, which I'm going fast. I'm drawing in, I'm turning my core. I'll punch again, draw it, turn core. So with this, with this pass, my head is probably always going to slip, but I'm lowering my body weight. And then I'm going to back up. Back Would you want to do it forever the same way? No. For practice, for training, sure. Yeah. I mean, 
me so do it so you can just keep going. Punch one side. One, two. Punch. One, two. Punch. One, two. Okay. That's because you got punched over. That's what we were doing. Okay, if you punch over. Yeah. So, yeah, if you punch over, I would that's what use a different block or I would shift. Yeah, yeah, that's what. So, as the punch is coming, if you are tense, you're expecting the punch, you will probably react late and you're going to have to tense up. You're already tense, okay? Just like I would just spoke. Making sure that you are relaxed before the punch comes so you can adequately react whatever drill we do. So, we're going to do a few punches. So, one punches, one, punch, one side punches. We're going to do one, two, split, block, two, hit, okay? So, one punch. Here. Okay. So I'm gonna go forward here. Split. Okay. So a little faster. Okay, though he shouldn't have time to block the second one. Point being is if he goes this if I if I jolt this hand enough with my body, that hand won't be there in time. Okay, just won't. Punch for it. There's the hit. Okay. So first hit, we're gonna do Foxo. That's gonna get blocked. Second hit, I release. Hit, hit. Okay. So as I jolt bottom hand downwards, there, this one responds. This is too far to respond. I compress this one. or gum cell pressing, okay? So it's a U, gun, and pop cell. From there, we have a lap cell and a palm strap. Okay? Okay, I'll uh, do a view. Okay. From there, you're gonna do a compress downwards as you do a pop cell. From there, he stops, so you're gonna come, uh, gonna lap, and you're gonna do palm strap. Like we got it. View, pop cell, block, lap cell. When you're doing lap so you're compressing, uh, you're contracting your whole body, and so as that happens, that hand is not gonna come back up because you, if I just pull on him here, don't give it to me. Okay, if I just pull on him here, this is the response I get. Okay, if I drop my hand and I release, this is the response I get. His whole body is gonna shift. Okay, okay. keep going. Happening now is reacting. Okay? So do it again, same way, lap cell. I react and come in with him. React and come in with him. Okay? I don't know where he was gonna go, but that's what I was feeling. Still got hit a little bit, but not as much. Okay? So even when you um, pull, so if you punch forward, and I'm here and I force you down here, don't resist it. Just come in. Where does it what does it feel I'm pulling you? Stay upright. Think of staying upright. There you go. Okay. Now think of staying upright. Think of staying upright if I do this again. Upright. There you go. There you go. I'm moving now, not you. Okay. Crazy. I know. <laughs> not a resistance upright. It's uh, my intent to be upright. I just show up. There's my space. This is my space. You don't come to my space, right? Or I will invite you to my space. <laughs> Well, kind of depends on, so if you, if you punch straight forward at me, and I say, okay, we'll come to my space. Okay? <laughs> Whatever else you want to do that there. Can go anyway. Can go. Okay, can go. Okay, so go again. One more time. Punch forward. Pause. Shoulders way up. You're going like this. Yeah. Now, what we did in the previous practice, you basically, with this block, go again, Brett, punch again. You want to put your hand where? Here. Oh, yeah. On the first block. That's right. Let's go in here. Go again. Punch again. Put the hand in there. One more time. Put the hand in there. One more time. Put it in there. There you go. The shoulder is still rising up, so release it. As you release your shoulder and shoot that hand out, he's going to feel that jolt. Same time you do that, Yep. 
and go back one more time, punch, extend the arm, and then drop it and extend the other one. That's it. From there, you're going to drop that one with the grip and punch with uh, start with the palm. Yep. Go again. Extend, drop, turn, start punch. From there, drop and release and shoot. Yeah. Pause. So right now, Steve, you're in a bit too far of a distance. Yeah. So as I punch forward, okay, do the same thing to me. Drop the shoulder. Okay. Drop the shoulder. The hand. Focus on it. Come in here. There you go. And drop the shoulder again. And go from there. Turn your core. Turn your core. Turn your core. Release the shoulder. Put your hand down. Put your hand down. There you go. Put your hand down and hit my throat. Okay, put your hand down, hit my throat. Very okay, better. Put your hand down, put, hit my throat. Okay. Grab my hand and hit my head. Okay? Grab my hand, hit my head. Shoulders down. Turn your core. Shoulders down, turn your core. Grab my hand, hit my head. Okay? When do you put your hand? Where, where does it go from here? Right here. Put it in that space. Okay? Put it in that space down there. Okay? Put it in that space down. Grab it, put it down. Shoulders. Release. Put it down there. Okay. So if you don't remove my arm, this one, you're gonna have to reach over this hand. So put my hand down. Okay? Put your hand down. Grip it. That's better. That's better. What happened? How close is that come to? I came right here. Yeah. yeah. Can you hit me with your palm there? Yes. Otherwise, you have to reach. Yeah. If you don't pull that hand. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Go.